Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video and in this video we're going to be covering a couple different things. I want to take a look at five games as a part of the Steam Summer Sale that are under just $2 and all of these games are very good. Some of them a little bit more arcade and presentation and a little bit older titles but still great titles nonetheless. And then the system requirements for Battlefield 5 have been revealed. These are the requirements for the closed alpha. So they might be changed a little bit but I want to take a look at that as well. First, let's talk about five games as a part of this steam summer sale that are yes under two dollars these games are under two bucks already did a video looking at 10 games under five dollars but i thought hey there are so many great deals on games that are so so cheap that you don't even have to go to the five dollar tier you could go a tier below that and still pick up some great games so first up right out the gate i want to mention portal 2 which is 90 percent off down to 199 this is a fantastic game and even as someone that isn't the biggest fan of puzzle games you guys know me don't really dig puzzle games all too much don't really dig RTSs all too much, but Portal 2 is a game that I feel anyone can really enjoy. This is one of the most well-designed games you are ever going to come across. The mechanics, it gets the little things very right, and the thing about Portal 2 is that while a single playthrough of the game isn't going to take you all too long, this is a game with so much longevity to it, as there's a significant modding scene as well, so $1.99 is going to get you a ton of content for your money. Next up, we've got Deus Ex Game of the Year Edition, 86% off for $0.97. Cents. Now, I'm I'm gonna be real. This was not my favorite game in the Deus Ex franchise. I was a much bigger fan of Deus Ex Human Revolution. The thing about Game of the Year Edition is if you have more patience and you aren't bad at video games like me, contextually, Deus Ex Game of the Year Edition is a better game than Human Revolution. People usually look back at the very first Deus Ex as one of the best RPGs of all time. Obviously, very dated in terms of visuals. This game released all the way back in 2000, and yes, it doesn't look as good as Human Revolution or Mankind Divided, but if you are running on an older PC or you're just okay with older visuals. The content in Deus Ex Game of the Year Edition is absolutely top notch and the game is 86% off for just 97 cents. Sell a couple of Steam trading cards and you'll have that in your library. Next up, we have a very charming game. Mini Ninjas is 85% off for $1.49. This game is so charming. I mean, how can you hate on a game like Mini Ninjas? It's just a very cutesy game, but it's also got some pretty interesting mechanics. Now, Square Enix has given this game out for free in the past. It was kind of a hurdle to get it for free, however, and I don't even know if it's still available for free. So if you just want to cut all the hassle, $1.49 for Mini Ninjas is a great deal on a game that's very charming. Just about anyone can play it, whether you're a kid, whether you're an adult. It's a fun action-adventure stealth game. Just don't expect a crazy amount of complexity in its gameplay. Next up, we have a personal favorite of mine, a game that I find so addicting, and that is Geometry Wars Retro Evolved. I absolutely love Geometry Wars. It's an old-school style shoot 'em up and you're in this box and you pretty much just have to survive. The gameplay is extremely simple but very addicting at the same time. It's 50% off for just $1.99 but I am telling you if you get into this game you can sing hours upon hours into this game. There is a Geometry Wars 3 that game is $7.50 so you can see why I mentioned the first title. This one for $1.99 it's not a huge discount actually it's only 50% off it typically goes for $3.99 but still a game that I wanted to mention. And lastly I want to give a shout to Costume Quest. This was a game by Double Fine Productions Tim Schafer, and it's a Halloween-themed comedy RPG. Again, another game that you shouldn't take all too seriously. I don't know if the summertime is the best time to play Costume Quest, but closer to Halloween. This game is very seasonal. They actually timed the release of this game very well. I believe it released in October the year it came out, so they got that right. The game itself is 85% off for $1.49. However, I would recommend you to pick up the Costume Quest 1 and 2 bundle. That is 85% off for $2.99, and it's kind of weird because Costume Quest 2 is 60% off, and that game is $5.99, so why not just get the bundle for Costume Quest 1 and 2 and save $3 off the price of Costume Quest 2. That's a really good deal. Alternatively, if you do just want to get Costume Quest 1, $1.49 for that is really good. A very charming, comedical RPG. G. So there you have it, five games under $2. There are actually a lot of games under $2. I was surprised. There are titles like Alpha Protocol, Hunted the Demon's Forge, just lower key smaller titles that are still very much worth playing and there are a lot of indie games that are super cheap. So yeah, if you're a little bit on the thriftier side, if you got a couple of Steam trading cards saved up and you just want to sell those, you can get a couple of these games and have some fun. Moving on from that, I also want to cover the Battlefield 5 closed alpha system requirements. I wanted to do these deals video where I cover another topic with it, but I still will cover 
cover a couple of other genres that you guys have requested me. JRPGs are coming. Don't worry for those of you that have been asking me about that. But that'll be coming in the future. Like I said, Battlefield 5 closed alpha requirements are out. The closed alpha actually did just begin today. It is invite only and unfortunately I'm not in it. But they do have the system requirements out. So let's go over it. Minimum requirements are rather high. You're looking at an Intel Core i5 6600K or an AMD FX 8350. 8 gigabytes of RAM. A GTX 1050 or a GTX 660 and then a Radeon HD 7850 on the AMD side. Recommended system requirements, you're looking at an Intel Core i7 4970 or a Ryzen 3 1300X. That's kind of surprising how they went with a 4970 and then also listed a Ryzen 3. Obviously, two CPUs of far different spectrums. As far as RAM goes, 12 gigabytes of recommended RAM requirement. That's kind of standard. You usually see 8 and 12 or 8 and 16. Here we have 8 and 12. GPU, you're looking at a GeForce GTX 1063 GB or an AMD Radeon RX 484 GB. That isn't all too crazy. I imagine a 1063 GB would be for 1080p because anything higher than that, the 1063 GB really does struggle at those higher resolutions if you're playing at 1440p or 4K. You're probably going to want at least a 1070 for 1440p and then if you're playing at 4K, you're going to want like a 1080 Ti. At the very least, a 1080 if you want to play with higher settings and higher frame rates. I also should mention that they are saying a 50 GB hard drive required so that's something to note as well but as far as system requirements for a game like Battlefield 5 nothing all too crazy there was a time where Battlefield was one of the highest end PC games back in the release of Battlefield 3 I remember people would always bring up the question can this PC run Battlefield 3 that's not really the case for Battlefield anymore sure Battlefield's a pretty game but I wouldn't say it's among the highest end PC games available so kind of interesting to see Battlefield shift in that regard but that is going to conclude this video guys I hope you enjoyed again those five games are going to be in the description down below mini ninjas Deus Ex game of the year edition portal 2 geometry wars retro evolved and costume quest if you can do check out the costume quest 1 and 2 bundle and i also gave you guys the battlefield 5 closed alpha system requirements again these requirements are for the closed alpha they might change by the time of the official release but i don't know if we're gonna see new hardware by the time battlefield 5 releases so who knows how much they will change that's gonna conclude this one guys if you guys have a request for a future video you can leave that in the comment section down below and i will catch you guys in the next one peace out